if you find yourself in a hopeless state where you feel like your heart has in fact become hard and you have developed this kind this sort of a problem sometimes the religious personality or the appearance of the religious personality is very intimidating it's hard to talk to them it's hard to be you're scared to be around them because you know they're going to talk down to you about something right you're you're afraid of them sisters that don't wear hijab keep they cross the street and go the other way go oh, no, there she comes again hijab police and she's going to tell me something she's going to say something make me feel bad right now on the one hand that's paranoia but on the other hand sometimes it is true there are people that are very condescending to others they're arrogant towards others tell me this weren't you a party animal not too long ago and when people try to tell you about it how did you behave towards them did you forget where you came from how far allah brought you right people forget that people forget where they used to be and where allah brought them and then years later they see someone who's a party animal and say astaghfirullah i can't be like how could you be like that where were you that guy should remind you of yourself you were exactly like that so you should remember the oh, allah's favor upon you wa kuntum ala shafa khufratin min an-nar you used to be at the very edge of the fire fa anqadakum minha he pulled you out of it and it's in that ayah allah says fa allafa bayna qulubikum right same ayah he put love between your hearts you to have love between your hearts you have to remember you used to be at the fire's edge yourself and you got pulled back and it wasn't because of you it because it's not because you're a really smart person and that's why you deserve to be pulled back whose favor was it to you it was allah's favor to you how dare you look at somebody else and think like that right this 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 arrogance is a is a horrible thing it'll wipe out all the goodness out of you it'll wipe all the goodness out of you and it is big most of the time our youth who end up into heated debates about whatever if it's a theology issue if it's a fiqh issue if it's a msa presidency i don't care what it, what the issue is doesn't even matter you know usually what the root problem of the debate is it's ego it's it's really it's a big ego that's all it is people talking about scholars like they're talking about some athlete you know that guy i don't like him. i don't like what he says excuse me do you know what allah what journey he made for the sake of allah even if you disagree with him the fact that he left his home whoever that scholar is and traveled halfway across the world to seek knowledge and spent nights and nights and nights praying and memorizing and studying you're going to just pass a comment on him like oh, i don't like what he says i think he's deviant how dare you what have you done what puts you in that position to be able to say that and you know if you disagree with a muslim and you think they're wrong what should be your first attitude towards them you should pass them pass a verdict on them that they're headed to hell or should you genuinely be concerned for them and if you were genuinely concerned for them you wouldn't talk to anybody else about them who would you talk to themselves you would go and talk to themselves if that if there was sincerity in you you would address your concerns to them not to anybody else but this is show, this shows lack of sincerity this shows ego this shows you want you want you've got your team you've got you're rooting for your side and you're just going to make comments about the other that's immature arrogant egotus this is فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا وَكُنْتُمْ عَلَى شَفَا حُفْرَةٍ مِنَ النَّارِ فَأَنْقَذَكُمْ مِنْهَا كَذَلِكَ يُبَيِّنُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ آيَاتِهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَهْتَدُونَ